Hello children, welcome to Lana's Planet. Children, this is our 13th session on the topic of addition. In the previous session, um, we had, you know, just um, started the topic of word problems. I had explained to you what a word problem is, how we read a word problem, how we're supposed to, you know, identify the quantity of the particular thing that has been given to us. Um, how are we supposed to write the statements? How are we supposed to add in a word problem? And about the final statement, right? And we had taken two word problems as an example, right? So in this session, we'll be solving word problems, okay? And as I had already explained word problems um, in detail in the previous session, um, so you would at least be, you know, knowing at least 30% of what and how a word problem is solved. So in this session, uh, I'll explain in the starting and later we'll only solve word problems and you'll have to solve the word problems along with me. Right? So let's start. Now children, this is the first word problem. Radhika had five tennis balls. Sneha gave her six more tennis balls. How many tennis balls does Radhika have now? This means that first Radhika had only five tennis balls then Sneha gave her six more. Now we have to see how many balls does Radhika have in all. So that means we'll have to add both of them. So we'll start off by writing the statements. Radhika had five tennis balls. Okay? Sneha gave her six tennis balls. Now we'll add them and we'll write U above them because they're the units place. Now 6 plus 5 is 11. So now we'll write the final statement. Radhika now has 11 tennis balls in all. Alright? And I'll underline this statement. Okay? So I followed all the steps that I told you in the previous session. First what we did, we read the word problem carefully and we underline the important names of people and the important quantities of things that were given to us. Then we wrote statements and uh, we put the unit sign, the place value sign and we had the numbers under them of the same place value. Then within the statement we added the numbers and we got the answer. Uh, and we wrote the final statement which has the answer in it. Right? So this is how we solve a word problem. Now we'll take another word problem. Okay children? Now children, this is a second word problem. Rohan had eight video games. His father gave him 19 more video games. How many video games does Rowan have all together? Alright? So we'll start off by writing the statements. Rowan had eight video games. His father gave 
19 video games to him. Now we'll add them. We'll write tens and units because we have tens and units place value. So first the units. So 8 plus 9 that is 17. 7 and 1 is carried. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is 27. So we'll write the final statement. Rohan has 27 video games all together. Okay? Now we'll take another word problem, children. Now, children, this is our third word problem. Kushi had 17 flower bouquets. Sanya gave her 14 more flower bouquets. How many bouquets does Kushi have in all? So we have to find the total number of flower bouquets that Kushi has. Now we'll write down the statement. Kushi had 17 flower bouquets. Sanya gave her 14 flower bouquets. Now we'll add them. So first we'll write tens and units. Now first we'll add the units. So 4 plus 7 is 11 and 1 is carried. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Right? So, we we'll write the final statement. Kushi has 31 flower bouquets in all. Right? So this is the correct process of solving a word problem. Now we'll take another word problem. Now children, this is our next word problem. Play, uh, pay close attention to this one because this is a very long one. Alright? Saki is very fond of football. During the FIFA World Cup season, she would count the number of goals her favorite footballer, Messi, did. In the first match, he scored 3 goals. In the second, he scored 5. In the third, he scored 4. In the fourth match, he scored 7. And in the fifth match, he scored 6 goals. Right? So, how many goals did Messi score in all the five matches? Now, children, over here we are given a lot of details. We have to add five numbers over here. Right? So, um, we'll start with adding those five numbers then. Okay? But we'll have to write the statements and then we'll add them. Alright? So, the first statement would be Messi scored how many goals in the first match? Three goals in the first match. So 
is the first statement. Second one, Messi scored. In the second match, he scored five. So five goals in the second match. Now the third one. Messi scored four goals in the third match. Now the fourth one. Messi scored seven. The fourth one he scored seven goals. Seven goals in the fourth match. And we'll write the fifth statement now. Messi scored six goals in the fifth match. Now we put all the you know necessary details in the form of statements. So now we'll add them. So first we'll add 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 7. That is 19. And 19 plus 6. That is 25. My children, if you're unable to add it directly like that, what you can do is, see, you can just see this over here. 3 plus 7. They make a pair and form 10 as the answer. Similarly, 4 and 6 also form 10 as the answer. So we'll strike this and this, this and this off. So we have 20 and then we have 5. So we have 25 as the answer. Alright. So if when you're not able to solve such, you know, single digit numbers, which are, you know, many digits you have like that many numbers which you're supposed to add and they're single digit then you can pair them up and form um, you know 10 as the answer and then you can add the remaining numbers alright so in total he scores 25 goals in 5 matches so now we'll write down the final statement Messi scores 25 goals in 5 matches. Alright? And I underline this. So, this was a very easy sum. Though um, it was a bit lengthy, writing down the statements is a bit tedious job. But you have to write down the statements, right? Now, we'll take some other sum. Now, children, this was the sum that we had done as of now. Now, um, this sum can also be asked in a different manner. And when it is asked in that way, you'll have to do something else instead of adding all of them. Suppose, instead of how many goals did Messi score in all five matches, if 5 matches wasn't there and it was written in the 1st, 3rd and 5th match, then what would you do? You would write the statements for only the 1st match, the 3rd match and the 5th match and add these goals. 
if it was given first second and third then you would do that for the first second match and the third match all right so on the basis of what is given you're supposed to add those numbers okay so for that you'll have to read the you know word problem very carefully because you shouldn't assume that you know when a word problem of addition is there that they will always ask that all together how many are there they can also ask for some particular ones after giving you a lot of details all right so please keep this in mind so you know read the word problems very carefully now children this is the next word problem priyal had a red bag the bag was filled with marbles of different colors she had taken out all the marbles and separated them according to the color she had 23 blue marbles 25 yellow marbles 22 orange marbles and 27 black marbles how many marbles does priyal have in all so we're supposed to find the total number of marbles that priyal has so we'll have to write the statements first Priyal has first were given twenty three blue marbles, twenty three blue marbles. Priyal has twenty five. yellow marbles priyal has 22 orange marbles and the next statement would be priyal has 27 black marbles now we'll write tens and units and we'll add them all we'll add them all together so first we'll add the units so first we'll add 7 plus 3 because that makes 10 10 plus 5 Fifteen, fifteen plus two, seventeen. So seven, and one is carried. Two plus two, four. Plus two, six. Plus two, eight. Plus one, nine. So she has total ninety-seven marbles. So we'll write a statement for that. Real. has 97 marbles in all right so this is our final statement and our answer is 97 marbles so isn't this very easy children and adding you know any number of um, any number of numbers like you can endlessly add numbers it isn't difficult it's just that you supposed to add the units first and carry forward them to the tens if there are tens or the answer will come as it is right so this was it for this session we did many word problems different kinds of word problems we started from the small word problems simple word problems and now we came up to big and long word problems with you know two digit numbers and four to five numbers that we were supposed to add in the next session we'll take some more tricky word problems like i had said in the the messy one the sucky one that um, you know the word problem can also give you a detail that only this particular 
two things or this particular three things are to be added out of the total five or seven or ten quantity that is given to you right see similarly over here also it could have been given that how many blue yellow and black marbles does Priyal have in all so even though we are given orange it's not supposed to be added so to find our answer right so be careful while you read pro word problems and you can always you know make word problems of your own you can just put in the names of your friends and you know anything can be put in right I put in marbles then you can put in ice creams or balloons you know or maybe pet puppies and dogs and all so it's very easy to make word problems and it's even easier to solve them but uh, you need proper statements you need to add them correctly and most of all you need to write down the final statement properly right so children this is it for this session in the next session uh, we'll be taking some more word problems right so I'll see you then in the next session bye